and then relevant. We spoke about our why. Why are you moving towards this goal? And it's got to be something bigger than ourselves. You know, when we have a goal that's superficial and is driven by our own significance, we can get caught up in external validation, in burnout. But when we are aligned with a goal that is for a bigger purpose, to contribute towards the world, to leave a legacy behind, it's so much easier to stay persistent and consistent with that goal. So we want to make sure that whatever goal we create in our life, it's relevant to our main core why. That's going to keep us motivated long term. And then, of course, it's got to be time bound. So you don't want to have a goal with no end zone. Otherwise, you're just ever, ever, ever going to work for it. And again, it makes it very difficult to measure how close or how far you are to achieving that goal. So making it time bound allows you to put those markers in where in this at this time so in a month's time this is where i want to be with this goal in six months time this is where i want to be now most people overestimate what they're going to do in a year and underestimate what they can do in 10. so make sure that your goal is time bound and you're able to measure how you are going along in that timeline then we want to talk about taking action so again even when you've created a smart goal it's very difficult to go towards that goal if you don't have an action plan. And again, an action plan is just making that goal more relevant, more achievable, more realistic, more specific. Because once you have an action plan, you have a step-by-step guide in order to follow towards your main goal, and towards that elevation, whatever it may be in your life. And so we use the TBM 5x5 five five method. So feel free to write this down. So in the 5x5 five five method, we talk about, first of all, creating our SMART goal. So remember, it's got to be a specific goal. It's got to be measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. And once you've created your SMART goal, you want to create five steps. So create five steps in order to... You want to create five steps. So this is five steps that you need to take in order to achieve that goal. You want to prioritize those steps from the things you need to do first to the things you need to do last in order for that goal to be achieved. Once you've done that, you're going to take each of those prioritized five steps and you're going to break each of them down into a further five steps to take. So step one is going to have five steps to take in order to achieve step one. Step two will have five steps to take in order to achieve step two and so on. You're going to prioritize those steps as well. And what you're going to have at the end of that exercise is a very clear roadmap and a very clear step-by-step guide for you to follow on a daily basis, a weekly basis, in order to make sure that you are consistently achieving steps towards your greater goal. And if you think of it, once you've got a SMART goal, you understand the goal, it's aligned with core why, and you have an action plan, what's really stopping you? Absolutely nothing but your mindset. And so once you take action, you've got your action plan, it becomes really easy to follow those step-by-step guides those step-by-step guides, especially with the TBM 5x5 method. And so we spoke about once you are starting on your journey. Now, any of you who have ever gone after a goal and had an action plan and you've done all the right things will know that life doesn't go according to plan. And the only certain thing about life is that it is absolutely uncertain. And even though you may have the best intentions to achieve your goal or go after a goal and you have a solid plan, life is going to throw you some curveballs and that's when a lot of us want to quit or we think it's somehow destiny trying to minimize our potential to achieve that goal or it's a sign that we shouldn't go after that goal and often what it is is those challenges those obstacles that we come across while going after a goal they're always going to come up in any goal in any decision you make obstacles and challenges come up not to stop you, but to help you grow. So we have to reframe our mindset. We have to reframe looking at an obstacle and a challenge as something that's stopping us to an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to level up and become stronger and more knowledgeable in our journey. And so I told you earlier on about the Burgess Method 5 by 5 So the Burgess Method 5x5 Action Plan Tool. Now, when you come up with 
a goal, an action plan, and you come across an obstacle, you can use exactly the same tool to overcome an obstacle. So if there's a challenge, make overcoming that challenge a new goal and do the five by five method in order to overcome that, that challenge. And very quickly, you're going to see that that is a multi-level tool that you can use in all areas of your life, all aspects of your life. Every time there's a new goal or a new challenge to overcome, it's going to be an exciting tool for you to use in order to basically give yourself a foolproof method. Now, a plan is only as good as somebody who follows it, but a leader is also able to function in chaos and adapt. So when you have an obstacle that is just really big and requires you to adapt your initial action plan, don't shy away from that. That's very normal. A plan is just there as a guideline towards your goal. And you are going to need to adapt that plan consistently as life throws your curveballs. You're going to need to take a different tack, a different perspective. That's totally okay. So when it comes to obstacles, reframe your mindset look at failures as opportunities to learn look at challenges as a growth mindset what can you learn from that challenge or who do you need to connect with in order to understand that challenge better and never underestimate the power of mentors and when we talk about mentors this is where we want to talk about the power of persistence so a lot of people again a lot of people overestimate what they're going to do in a year and totally underestimate what they can do in two years or three years or ten years and so when it comes to persistence you really want to look at mentors who inspire you now i'm not talking about just your daily motivation i'm talking about people who can help you lead yourself and you always want to choose more than one mentor why because if you're going to lead yourself if you only choose one mentor you're essentially following somebody so you're just following. But when you have multiple mentors that you're taking and choosing from their lessons and their memory bank in terms of what they've learned and their obstacles and how they've overcome them, what you're doing is you're personalizing your own leadership identity by having multiple mentors. Now, you don't want to overdo it, but generally five mentors is great. And again, you don't want to follow someone because nobody, and again, you don't just want to follow one person because one person is not enough for you to gain your own leadership identity alternatively there'll be shortfalls in that person's life as well we all have them in areas of our life that's why we're constantly in this earth school learning and educating ourselves so we need to make sure that we have many mentors about five mentors where we're able to take essential tools from them and create our own identity to lead ourselves and that creates persistence when we aren't sure of something when we don't know something we can look to our five mentors for guidance what would they do in this situation and they have just given the secret to a tool where if you are ever doubting yourself if you're ever doubting the direction you need to go to in terms of achieving your goal and you think i don't know how to carry on you have your five mentors you don't have to know these people personally they can be inspirational people celebrities you admire motivational speakers you admire businessmen or businesswomen that you admire it can be mentors you've met personally mentors you know close or just mentors that you follow generally you'll be able to pick up their patterns and their behavioral patterns what you want to ask yourself when you come with and when you come up with an obstacle or something that's blocking you is what would this mentor do in this situation? What would this mentor do in this situation? And you want to go through each of your mentors and basically ask yourself, what would each of your mentors do in this situation? And what you would have designed right there is a very personalized action plan for yourself in order to understand, great, my five mentors who I believe are successful and powerful would have come up with these solutions. Which solution resonates most with you and your core why? And go for it and action it again take the solution make it a goal use the tbm 5 by 5 method to break that goal down into an actionable plan and follow through and those are just really really easy steps in order for you to create life-changing breakthroughs i hope this was super helpful for you and i'm so excited to share more tools with you in the future